Hi, everyone. Good morning. And uh, welcome to BCon day two. So as you know, today we will have presentations given in person at York University, which is where we all are today. These presentations uh, will also be viewed virtually worldwide. Um, if you're joining us today, BCon is hosted by the Center for Bee Ecology, Evolution and Conservation at York University. And as I mentioned before, it is a hybrid event with yesterday being a completely virtual event and today being in person. So I'd like to start out by giving a big thank you to our funders, the Faculty of Science at York University, the Faculty of Environmental and Urban Change, and the Vice President of Research and Innovation at York University. So we'll briefly start off today with a land acknowledgement. We recognize that many Indigenous nations have longstanding relationships with the territories upon which York University campuses are located that precede the establishment of York University. York University acknowledges its presence on the traditional territory of many Indigenous nations. The area known as Takaranto has been caretaken by the Anishinaabe Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Huron-Wendat, and the Métis. It is now home to many Indigenous peoples. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the First Credit Nation, and this territory is subject of the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, an agreement to peaceably share and care for the Great Lakes region. As I mentioned yesterday in the program, we've included a link to the land, or we've included the land acknowledgement in the program and a link to a video that gives more information and background about the land acknowledgement. And if you are not in Toronto, you can visit native-land.ca, which is a global website where you can see what Indigenous nations were in different areas historically and currently. Very briefly, BEC. BC is the Center for Bee Ecology, Evolution and Conservation at York University in Toronto, Canada. It is an initiative that strives to advance research in the fields of bee ecology, evolution and conservation. The mission of BC is to foster interdisciplinary, innovative, collaborative and cutting edge research. This research is used for the advancement of knowledge and implementation of policy changes to help sustain pollinators globally. And our goal is to apply our collaborative efforts to the development of policies and environmental management for the long-term sustainability of bees and the vital ecosystem services they provide. So again, yesterday I went through a few of the things that we do, such as our internal uh, webinar series. We have our YouTube channel where these talks will be posted, as well as talks from last year, if uh, Corona Centers allow them to be shared. We're active on Twitter and on Instagram. We also have listservs. You can join our public listserv uh, if you follow the instructions here that are also in your program. We also have an internal listserv for BC associates who are uh, directly associated with BC. And if you are a university a York University researcher or collaborator, please consider becoming a member and you can visit this website to learn more. So about BCon itself, we started in 2011 as the Southern Ontario Bee Researcher Symposium hosted by York University Bee Researchers with support from others. It's grown from a small local symposium to an international one. BC is now the formal host supported administratively and financially by the VPRI and the Faculties of Science and Environmental and Urban Change. In COVID, uh, we went virtual in 2020 and last year we returned as a hybrid event that had a similar format to the one here today and yesterday. So uh, from yesterday, you'll know that we're on a Zoom webinar platform and only panelists can turn on the camera and microphones. Please use the Q&A box or raise your hand in person to pose questions to the speakers. The moderator for this, uh, this session, Anthony, you'll remember him from yesterday, will pose the questions back to the speaker as time permits. And the speakers uh, may also want to answer the questions through the day, which they can do through the Zoom uh, chat boxes if you see Anthony or myself. If you have any trouble, send a private message to me or email me at bc at or talk uh, or just talk to me in person if you're here. All presentations will be recorded, but not all of them will be shared. Uh, in about two weeks, we'll be sharing the ones that are allowed to be shared on our YouTube channel. And if you would like to share on social media, absolutely, please do tag us. Hashtag Beacon is the official hashtag for the event. But please respect speaker's wishes in terms of allowing shares to social media or not allowing shares to social media as designated by the icons 
or verbal warnings from the speakers. For in-person attendees, there should be no food or drink allowed in the lecture theater except for water. And we encourage you to sit in the tables and chairs in the foyer or outside to enjoy any uh, snack foods. Just before lunch, we're gonna take a group photo. So everyone who's here, please come to the front of the room and we'll snap a quick photo. And then please also enjoy the networking opportunities during both the, the morning break, the breaks throughout the day and the lunch and the, the optional social at Timbers Lodge immediately following the event. I'd like to give a big thank you to our volunteers and funders, who of course, uh, without their help and financial support, this event would not have been possible. And with that, we will now move on to the presentations. 